Hi, I'm Anessa, and I'm going to tell you about my experience so far with the Leah from Uniwigs. She is synthetic, and she came styled this way. This is Sunflower Blonde, and it's a left part lace, uh, temple to temple. It does have ear tabs. And um, I have worn this a couple of months. It's great to see somebody unbox a wig and put it on, and of course it looks fabulous. You know, relationships are fabulous at first, the job is fabulous at first, <laughs> everything's fabulous at first. But what happens after you, um, you know, have to be close for a little while, <laughs> this is as close as you can get. <laughs> uh, anyway, like I said, I've worn her for a few months now, and I like her. I think that this um, could be an everyday wig, um, for me personally, I'm used to human hair wigs now. Um, I only wore toppers before because I did have hair and I recently shaved it all off. So now it's full on wigs. I'm no expert, but I know what feels good and what works and what doesn't for me anyway. Um, so what works here is this color. I think it's gorgeous. It's Sunflower Blonde. Um, the description that they have on the website for the Sunflower Bond doesn't look like this at all. Um, it doesn't do it any justice. It doesn't even look the same. Um, this is much prettier than what they show you as Sunflower Blonde on the website. Um, so the left part, um, thankfully it's a left part because everything I do is left-handed. I'm left-handed all the way. So I even like my parts left-handed. Um, so that worked out well. I have not plucked anything on this. So there is the, um, well, there's my hair. <laughs> but there's the hairline that's got a little makeup on it. But, you know, I mean, who's getting that close to you? <laughs> Unless you want them to be. So the ear tabs, you know, here they are. They have a little bit of wire in them. So I just kind of take them and... Um, you know, smush them up so that they're um, tight on my head. And the cap is 22 inches. Now I am a petite, I'm more of a 21.5. Um, so the 22 worked fine for me. It has the elastic on the back that you pull and you hook in and I'll show you that too. Um, so it fits nicely. Could I take it in a little bit? Sure. Am I gonna take the time to do that? No. Now if you were getting this for everyday wear, there is someone um, that I'll put in my comments uh, who can help with altering your wig um, way cheaper than I ever expected it to be. So these curls um, are gorgeous. I was in a wig store. I was asking about tangling and synthetic wigs and she offered me this advice. You get a wig that is straight. Now this is heat resistant up to 285. So I bought a heat comb and uh, it doesn't say the settings, so I just put it on like five or 10, um, max 10. Five works just fine, but you can take the ends and you can just gently comb through them and it will straighten them out a little bit. So I also wanted to show you, see this right here? Um, when you brush your wigs, you know, you always brush them from the bottom up. Um, brushing them down just creates more of a ratty effect and then you have more knots than you started with and you don't want to play with your wigs more than you have to because of course you're going to pull it out it doesn't grow back so um, to extend the life of your synthetics by not brushing them too much try to keep your hands off of them um, don't create um, ends that are there we go that's what I was talking about. This does happen and that's from brushing too fast. Sometimes you get frustrated and you brush too fast and you know, you, you kind of, it's like curling ribbon on Christmas. No! So this does create a lot of problems with, um, you know, trying to keep your wig from riding up on itself throughout the day. And that's why I would say an everyday wig. Um, I mean, yeah, sure you could if you're very diligent about not doing those things I just mentioned, not brushing too much, not putting your fingers through it too much, um, not styling it too much, not washing it too much. Um, once every couple of weeks, uh, you can alternate wigs too. That helps a lot. So here's the lace. This is how close that I cut to the edges. Um, you don't need to cut it all the way exactly to the very first hair. I mean, I kind of guess I did, but 
see there um, hairline I have not plucked anything out of this at all and I'm totally fine with that um, I didn't cut any baby hairs I'm totally fine with that too um, here's the inside you've got some parting room in there um, here is the elastic band in the back you can pull it all the way to the middle you don't have to pull it tight to where you give yourself a headache um, if you're not interacting with too many people during the day and people are going to be hugging on you and trying to tug on your hair and you know, oh, your hair's so pretty. You're like, oh, don't do that. <laughs> um, you know, so just make it tight enough to where it's on your head and you're comfortable. Don't be uncomfortable. Don't be uncomfortable. So putting it on just boop like that. Um, throw it on, adjust your ear tabs. And when you take a wig off, real or synthetic, take it off from the back so that you're not injuring your lace. Um, so see, my lace is still fully intact. It's a nice sturdy lace too. This one's about 15 inches long or 16 inches long. I put a lot of product in this to try to soften it up. Not that it needed softening, but to, I guess, keep the lubrication is what I meant. So that when I run my fingers through it, because I do have that habit, I have a job where I'm on the phone all day long. And I'm waiting for people to give me information and I'm doing this. So um, I've caused some of my own damage on this, um, but it does happen. Just know the kind of wig wear you are or are going to be if you're going to play with it a lot. Um, I guess, you know, <clears throat> I would invest in a human hair wig just because um, these that end stuff I showed you does get out of control. So just know that. Um, the lace on this, it is very sturdy and it also can be a little itchy. I don't have a cap on. I don't like caps. My head is too small and too flat in the back to make a cap stay on. I've tried the wig bands too and I don't really like those either. I, I Maybe I'm putting them on wrong, but it always seems to make my lace kind of stick up a little bit. And I don't like that. So um, I guess you call it suffering. I suffer through it. I've been wearing alternative hair for 15 years. And not that you should ever get used to uncomfortable, but something is, on, you know, foreign is on your head. It's not going to feel 100% natural. Once you get used to whatever you're wearing, be it a hair topper, a lace wig, a silk top wig, whatever it is, um, yeah, it might feel weird at first. If you have something foreign on your head. Uh, you get used to it just like your bra. I mean, you know, if you need a hair top or if you need a wig, um, you'll get used to the feeling. You know, you don't go on your day without a bra on because it's uncomfortable. It's just something you have to do. Um, but just keep in mind too, you don't have to wear wigs and you don't have to wear toppers. You can just look how you look. Um, there's nothing wrong with being who you are and flaunting what God gave you. So if you watch any of my other videos, you'll see that I had um, some very thin hair and I wanted to shave it off forever. I was terrified. I didn't want to wear wigs. I wasn't sure when I went into the dating pool how I would be received by the gentleman if I was bald. Um, but truthfully, ladies, I've never had a problem um, in my dating life. And uh, thankfully, I'm out of the dating pool. I have a wonderful, sweet, caring, generous, cute, new man and uh <laughs> he encouraged me to shave my head so let's just talk about this for a second um this is outgrown for me um with wearing wigs with lace tops I've had this a lot longer and it's so funny everybody says it looks like I have more hair now than I did when it was actually you know grown out and long um, because it just looked so thin and so bad. Um, this is the most freeing feeling I've ever had. I wish that I would have done this 15, 20 years ago. Um, I've never gotten a mean comment. Um, I get a lot of looks, but they're, oh, my mascara. <laughs> People are curious, of course, like, why doesn't she have hair? Uh, but, you know, if you do have thin hair, Shaving it off, it makes you feel like you have more for some reason. I, I don't understand that. I have androgenic alopecia, so with that, you usually keep your hairline. That's why it looks that way. It's just, it's thinner in here. 
thinner back here. Um, so when I keep it shorter, this line kind of goes away. So anybody with androgenic alopecia, if you're thinking about shaving your head, um, yeah, you'll see this. You just shave it down to where, um, or buzz it down to where the line kind of blends into the rest of your hair. You don't have to worry about that either, but um, ladies, I'm telling you, if uh, you're wearing toppers, um, they're great. It depends on how much hair you have, but if you're at that cusp where you're just about to, you know, say I need to go to wigs, just do it. It's it's no different than having that hair topper clip to your head. This is actually a little more comfortable, I think. Um, at first, it might feel weird emotionally. You know, you might be sensitive about it, but trust me, it'd be like, why didn't I do this sooner? Oh, my boyfriend's calling. Hold on. So what I'm going to do for the next video on Leah is I'm going to straighten her um, right now. I'll show you how I do it with the heat comb. If it works, I haven't straightened out a whole head of hair with the heat comb, but I'll try it and see what happens. And if not, I'll use the um, straightener. Um, but I'm going to wear the straightened Leah for a month or so and see how that fares with the tangling and see if that's any better. I'm also going to cut those little ends off that I showed you that were frayed or um, wispy and whirly to give the fairest review on how it uh, works with it being straightened. It's you know never gonna, it's gonna rat a little bit. Sorry, it just will. So I will see if straightening her helps me out as far as what tangling I get if she's straightened as opposed to wavy like she is now. So let's put her on the mannequin head and straighten her out with the heat comb. And the heat comb I got on Amazon, you know, it, I don't know anything about heat comb, so I just picked one <laughs> that was on sale. So let's go. So I sprayed it first with this L'Oreal Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. Okay, so the heat comb did not work for that particular idea that I had of straightening this whole head of hair. So after I get it all straightened out as much as I can with the straightener, I'm going to go back over it in smaller sections with the heat comb just to get it to lay flatter. Here it is um, straightened up with the iron. And I wanted to show you this may be common sense, but I've never used these before. So what I did was see how it's rounded on the back. You go into it, you take the comb, you place it right into the hair from the top, and then you roll it over, and that way it gets on the biggest part of the barrel and has the most coverage of the heat barrel on this comb to do your straightening. So it's all straightened out, and I haven't put it on yet, so let's see how it looks. I actually like this better. Let me get my comb. Okay, so here it is straightened out. I think I like it better like this for sure. Um, it was just too ah, everywhere for me. Yeah, I like this a ton better. So, and actually Univix did reach out and said, hey, if you wanted to straighten it out, you know, give it a try. I'm like, oh no, I love these waves, but <laughs> I like this. Ooh, I like. Okay, so here it is straightened out, and I will go ahead and cut off any ends that are straggly. Um, really, look, it's not any worse than it was. Not that it was bad, but um, yeah, it held up really well with the um, straightener and the heat comb. And I did bump it up to like 13, uh, and you could, it almost smelled like it was burning, but it wasn't. Um, but word to the wise, when you use a heat comb on it or any other tool, if you go to curl it and you start here and you leave it there for a second, grab something, you come back on a um, heat friendly, it will really be kinked and it'll set in and it'll be really hard to get back out. So make sure you, you're very fluid with it when you're using any kind of heat tool on a synthetic. <laughs> wig or you know topper but in this case wig so yeah i'm loving it straight way more than those beautiful curls so yeah let's see how it holds up and i will come back to you with a new video in a while so thanks for watching